Dr. Katz? Yeah? I'm going to need a few hours off this afternoon. Is, is everything okay? Because, Laura, you've really been taking a lot of time off this week. I'm sensing that, that there's something going I'm on. I'm fine. There. You know that I'm always here for you? You realize that, don't you? You're not always here, but I'm always here. I, I don't need no, any... I just think it's, Dr. it's, Katz? it's unfair of you not to offer an explanation. Well, I need it. Laura, this is the third time this week that you've asked me for time off in the afternoon. Are you counting tomorrow? Well, no, I guess not. I don't like uh, holidays with my family. Why is that, Mark? I just don't. Um, because, you know, you just got to be polite to them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't last very long. Ever just trying to be so polite, you yawn inside your mouth? Yeah. You know, you're just listening to a story. Oh, yeah? Uh, you did what? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Dr. Katz's office. Man alive. Laura. Yeah? What in God's name were you doing yesterday? I was out. What do you mean you were out? What kind of chop shop are you running? Yesterday I, I tried for three hours to get through, but I'll... Yeah, so what do you First want? First of all, where, where are you going in the middle of the, a work day? <sighs> we don't live in the tropics. You can't just do what you want. We're not in some equatorial country where you can work anytime you want, go to the beach, have a rum drink. We're in America, baby. That means you put in an eight-hour work day. Then you have a rum drink. <sighs> oh, this past Thanksgiving, I just can't... I can barely get through things like that. My aunt yeah. was all upset because we didn't use real whipped cream. We used this cream whip or something like that. It's really whipped topping that you keep in the fridge. Yeah. I noticed on the bowl of this cream whip, it says, any questions or comments about our product, call this number. And I'm thinking, who's the guy that answers this phone? He's the cream whip hotline guy. First of all, how busy can this guy get, you know? Well, hello, cream whip. Uh-huh. Just one sec. Could you hold, please? Okay, cream whip. Can I put you on hold for just a second? Just, cream whip, just one sec. Is John back from his break yet? You know, this is important, Laura. You know, I need to have an open line with my father at all times, you know, like the bat phone or the red phone in the White House. And I pick up the phone, I say, Dad, he says, what? I don't even want to hear a dial tone. So what do you want? What if I fell, hmm? Or what if I got up, but then I fell again? Don't you two talk at home? Occasionally. Hey, where did you uh, go yesterday afternoon anyway? Where do you... Oh, to none of your business? Oh, that's very funny. Uh, I don't think I can go in traffic anymore. Why? I just can't deal with those drivers. I don't know why it is, but when I pass the slow drivers, I have to look at them. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what I'm looking for. Like their face will give me the answer. Oh, it's Mr. Magoo. Well, I don't know why I look at the slow drivers. They all have that same look on their face that, oh... I am not confident behind the wheel. <laughs> this is hard. I usually sit in that chair. You're doing very well. Hey, Dad, pass the dip, will you? Yep. Pass the other dip. You know, you can get sick mixing dips, Ben. That's not true. That's It's alcohol that you get sick and you mix. Well, I can get sick watching you mix dips. I think that's what I meant. Hey, Dad, I, uh, I spoke to Laura today. Oh, that's a shocker. And uh, it seems to be out of the office. Yeah. And you didn't tell me. I should be filled in. How did she sound to you when you spoke to her? Well, you know, I asked her where she was, and she was pretty tight-lipped about uh, giving me an answer. <laughs> well... Is there something going on? Is she, uh, I, I think she okay? I think this is, that there is that she's going through some kind of personal crisis. She... It's clear to me that she needs to, and she even used this phrase, to sort some things out. That uh, sounds serious, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not good. You know what that means when someone says, I'm sorting a few things out? You know what well, that means? It I, means uh, they're dying. No, that's getting their affairs in order, Ben. That's different. Oh, right. Yeah. It sounds like there's something, uh, you know, serious going on at mm -hmm. the office, and I yeah. would, you know, I would certainly take a little time out of my schedule to, uh, you know, maybe investigate what's going on. I mean, if you were me. What, what do you mean? I'm saying I don't think it's a good idea for you to get involved. It's a very sensitive area. Well, I mean, if there's anybody who can uh, find out what's going on, it's it's definitely me. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah. Undercover Ben. Dad, I'm going to find out what our little miss can't be wrong is up to. Huh? Do a little investigating. Ben, I don't want you to do anything. You know, maybe it's uh, running guns to Mexico. I don't think she can do that on her lunch hour. Well, why don't you start guessing, you know? I mean, why do I have to 
look stupid all the time. I just really don't have a clue. Oh my god, she's my sister. Do you mind? Oh, hello, Bill. Oh. Hey, give me that back. Please let me have that back. Give it to me. Look, I, I promise not to use it if you give it back to me. Well... I, I promise. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an accident. I really didn't mean to do that. I just touched it. I'm really sorry. Oh, whoops. I'm really... I'm just not... I don't really mean to be... Oh, boy. I'm really... Oh. It's just going... I'm not doing it myself. Dr. Katz's office. Oh, Laura. Mm-hmm. Is this you? Yes, it is. Wow, you're, you're live. You're sitting there. Is this... I'm really talking to you on the Yes, phone? I am. Wow. Yes, that's right. I'm glad I got you while you were in. Oh, well, good for you. What a shock. <laughs> you figure these days, why would you even go to work, right? Don't matter, does it? Let it all hang out, baby. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you don't uh, care about responsibilities, right? You're all free. That's right. So you, uh, are you going to stay in today, or are you going to... Uh, well, I'll be in. Yeah. And um, then I'll be going out. Are you going to be uh, leaving this afternoon? Yes, that's right, Ben. Like, sort of like yesterday afternoon. Sort of. Huh. It's a work day. Right. So why wouldn't you leave? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Um, where would you go, hypothetically? <laughs> to the zoo or... Uh, any number of places. But do you have one specific place you've been going to in the afternoon? Oh, yes, actually, I do. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Does it uh, begin with a P? As in visiting a relative at the penitentiary? Uh, huh? no. Does it begin with a D, as in doing things that are illegal? Mm, no. Does it begin with a CH, as in, uh, I'm sorry, a PH? <laughs> I'm sorry, a PSCH. PSCH? I don't know how to spell this word. What's, go what's going on with you and your brother now? Oh, Alan? Yeah. Uh, nothing much. Just the fact that he's older than me still plagues me. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to catch up someday. Yeah. Yeah. How come whenever I mention your brother, you start sweating? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, just a second. You know what I don't like? I don't like this game run. I don't think this is... Hello? Yeah, he's um, at the doctor again. No, not hair. I'm at the, the head thing. Yeah. Okay, get... Mm-hmm. All right, I'll tell him. Okay, bye. Who was that pretend call from? That wasn't a pretend call. That was, um, um, <laughs> Ron. <laughs> oh, Ron. <laughs> Laura, yeah. why don't we do this? Why don't we play a game? You like games, don't you? No. Of course you do. Of course you love them. Everybody loves games. That's why they're called games. Let's play a game that, uh, that I love to play called, uh, Guess Where I Went This Afternoon. Oh, okay. That's that a fun, fun game. Yeah. yeah, it is a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, you, you go ahead and start. And... Okay. No. Oh. Nowhere? Well, I have to ask first. Okay. So guess where I went this afternoon. Um, nowhere. Okay, you win. Now you ask me. Okay. Ben? Uh-huh? Guess where I went this afternoon. Guess where, guess where I went this afternoon. Man, this game sucks. <laughs> this is something my colleagues would probably... F Ron, just let it ring. That, at least that would be a step in the right direction, you know? Yeah, but how do I... I don't know who it is. Just ignore it. See if you can do that tip for me. Would you do that? All right. Hi, I can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, they must have hung up. Hmm. Well, I think you've taken that game as far as you can run. Hmm. You know? I don't know. I don't think so. Hello, is this Dr. Cat? Hi, Ben. I disguised my voice so Laura wouldn't recognize me. Yeah. Listen, Dad, I'm in a phone booth outside the building, and uh, I don't mind telling you, it reeks. What I need to know is Laura's uh, HQ, not to mention her DOD. I have no idea what you're talking about, Ben. Good, Dad, I can't get into this right now because I'm staked out outside. Yeah, well, that's okay. So let's because go through this quickly. Because I can't get into it either because I'm an adult. Right. Why does that prevent you from getting into it? Because uh, I don't like spy games the way you do. Would it help if I just talk normally? Might. 
Alright. Now, how are you, Ben? I'm fine. How are you, Dad? Let's get down to business. <laughs> okay. Where is Laura right now? Because I am outside. So when she goes out this yeah. afternoon, mm -hmm. I will be able to, what they call in my business, tail her. See, I, I, this is not a good idea, and I'll tell you why. Dad, I can handle myself out here, you know? I mean, the, the streets are my friend. Yeah. You know? I mean, this is where I live. I, I just meld in. You know? Uh -huh. I'm a melder, Dad. I mean, I... That's... Yeah, I can see you melding. I'm waving to you right now, Ben. Look up. Higher, to your left. No. Yep. Oh, hey. Yeah. Is that you? Not only are you melding, you're also waving now. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I sort of blew right. my cover right there. Yeah, wait, let me see if Laura wants a wave. No, 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 Dad, don't do that. Yeah. Okay, so I don't meld well. But that's, you know, that's not everything. <sighs> How many fingers am I holding up right now? You're holding up three fingers. Damn. Yeah. How many fingers am I holding up now? Read between the lines. Hmm. Hmm? You want me to turn it up for you? Dad? Ben? Dad, don't use our real names. All right, now start again. Dad? Men? Go ahead, you're dumb. All right, whatever. Just a status report? Mm-hmm. How's it going? Lost her. Okay. Well, let me tell you what happened. I, I followed her to the bank. Uh-huh. And she went in the bank, mm -hmm. and um, I couldn't wait. What do you mean you couldn't wait? Well, I sort of got hungry, and she was in there for a while. The line was a mile long. Do you understand how this whole tailing thing works, Ben? I mean, maybe I messed up this time, but, uh, you know, the next time I'm going to stick to her like, like, um, you know, like, like something, a sticky substance? Yes, would. yes, like a yeah. very sticky substance. Mm -hmm. When I was following Laura, yeah. and I realized a whole nother conspiracy going on. Mm -hmm. You know the bakery? Yeah. Lenzio's? Mm -hmm. I get the feeling they pump out odors. Right, they're, they're exhaust vent. Yeah, well, not quite their exhaust vent, mm -hmm. but they vent out fumes which make you go in and buy baked goods. I never trusted them. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, I got you a dozen crawlers. Hi, uh, I'm here, uh, Rich Richard Lewis. I'm here to see Dr. Katz. Good. Why don't you take a seat? Uh, listen, Laura, uh, I, I mean, not that I want to move furniture around or anything, but I sort of feel like you're, you, you sit pretty close to, you know, the office, and not that you should move the Are desk. Are you afraid that I'm going to hear about your problem? Well, if it was just one, I'd be a lucky man. <sighs> we haven't started our session yet, have we? Well, technically, the minute you walk in here, you're on the clock. Oh. I mean, if something happens that makes you feel better on your way into the room, that's part of the session, too. Um, I can tell you anything, can I? As long as it's not personal. I, I have a feeling you're going to want me as a regular patient. Well, you are a regular patient, Richard. I mean, do you know something I don't know? Yeah, I do. Why is that? Trust me. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm screwed up, man. You know? My my Uncle Phil passed away. He used to make uh, home movies and edit out the joy. Mm -hmm. Those are our family movies. Well, you see, and I have them. Well, that, that, that's... I don't let you talk much because I'm always afraid to hear what you're going to say to me. You, you know, you're you're sort of an intellectual, aren't you, Dr. Katz? Uh, no, I'm, a, I'm more of a pseudo-intellectual. Maybe that's a problem I have with you. I... I miss my other therapist because I used to get, like, a hug a lot, you know? Yeah, that's not going to happen here. God, you're in a bad mood today, Dr. Katz, aren't you? No, I'm not I'm not in a bad mood. I think maybe you're projecting your mood onto me. Because you're not, like, you're cutting me off. Isn't that weird? Well, remember what you said to me last time. What? I, I said so many things to you. You don't like to confide in me. <laughs> that's true. You know, but here's the problem I have, Dr. Katz. I don't know whether I'm being truthful with you or trying to get you to laugh. Well, geez, I hope it's not the latter. Wait, w w which was the latter? You know, you have all the classic symptoms of a hypochondriac. I, you know, I, I am a hypochondriac. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I got it from my grandparents, really, basically. They, uh, my grandmother, she, uh, she knitted her suicide note. I doubt it. Which was really a really tragic thing. We didn't know what she was doing. Yeah. She also used to collect uh, antique dolls with colitis. Well, those are going to be worth something someday. Young polar bear comes home from school. True story. Uh 
No, I have to I have to tell you this joke. Young polar bear comes home from school mm -hmm. and he says, Mother, am I really a polar bear? She says, Of course you're a polar bear and I go to bed. He comes home the next day. He says, Dad, are you and Mom really, really polar bears? The father says, What are you talking about? Good night. This goes on for weeks, for months, were your parents polar bears, were their parents polar bears? Am I in fact a purebred polar bear? The father finally says, Enough. Why do you keep asking us these questions? She says, Because I am freezing. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a great joke. He was cold. The bear, he was cold. Yeah, that's all I was right, going yeah, on. Right, yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Laura, can I ask you something? Yeah? Are you planning on leaving? Yeah, two hours early. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not what I mean. I mean, are you planning on, you know, leaving this job, on quitting this job? Would you still pay me? No. Then no. Why do you think I'm leaving? I don't know. It seems like there's something going on that you're clearly not comfortable talking to me about. Dr. Katz, I'm not going to leave this job until I find a better one. Well, that's sweet of you to, to say that, Laura. Because I really was worried. Huh. So what are you doing out there? I mean... I'm sure there's an explanation. Maybe it's none of my business, but I, I feel like I'm entitled to an explanation. Well, I'll tell you, Dr. Katz. Yeah. I've been going to traffic school. Well, why didn't you say something? Well, because it's embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? I was sentenced to traffic school just for going fast. Yeah. Or... Well, Laura, I, I mean, I'm glad you're staying. I'm going to need all the afternoons off next week, too. More tickets? No, I just sort of have come to like having my afternoons off. <laughs> That's a good one, Laura. Okay. Well, the last time I went there was, was to get my license renewed, and what they're doing now is group photos. Dad. Yeah. Take a look at Ben. Huh? Yeah, I don't have to look this at you. This is what it's all about, baby. Yeah, I, I, I just, why don't you leave the, your clothes? I stink. Why don't you leave your clothes in the hall and get in the shower immediately? Ben? Dad, you know what? Burn I, everything. No, no, I don't do that. I wait. I want to relish this moment. Were you in a food fight or something? No, Dad, I was in a dumpster. I was, uh, I was on yeah. the job. You know, I was investigating in a dumpster. Yeah. I mean, that's, I was in, actually, I was in Laura's dumpster. Aha. Uh -huh. Going through some of, uh, her trash. Well, I'm not quite sure it was hers because it was her buildings. And I didn't really find anything specific to Laura mm -hmm. except for some skim milk, which I assume she does drink. Yeah. So I was in there for about a half hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, about 30 minutes went by, and then I realized I'm in a bunch of garbage and, uh, and I gotta get the hell out of here. I'm not saying that all this investigative work was for nothing. What do you mean? You know, it turns out she's been going to traffic school. She's had a bunch of tickets and she was required to go... But I thought she had to sort a few things out. Well, she just, she was embarrassed. She didn't, she didn't want me to think that she was a bad driver. You're kidding. Well, why, why did she say she had to sort a few things out? I mean, why didn't she just say I was going to traffic school? Like I said, she was embarrassed. Well, how did you find out? I asked her. Seriously? Yeah. God, I suck at this. You know, I was with my high school friends the other day, and uh, it kind of made me sad that we can't do what we did in high school. Like, now you have to be really polite to people, you know, as an adult. You're expected to, hey, how was your weekend? Like, I care. Uh-huh, well, that's good. Yeah, good. That's nice. Yeah. You know, when you were in high school, you saw something in the hallway. You didn't have to stop and chit-chat. All you had to do was this. Right. That's it. A little nod. That was, that was a whole greeting. You were done with that person. You know, two people walk by. You know, they say men aren't supposed to cry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw bridges in Madison County, and, you know, they fell in love, and everything was good. And then they realized they shouldn't be, shouldn't be together, and they break up, and then the real husband comes back. And he's waiting behind Clint Eastwood in the truck, and it's raining because everything bad happens in the rain. And the light turns green, but Clint doesn't move, and the guy's like, boo-boo, today, boo-boo, today, you know. And um, the husband says, what's he waiting for? He's waiting for her. Hey, you want a, want a tissue? Can I have a minute, please? Hello, Dr. Katz? Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm good. Is is this Ron? Yes, it is. Uh, where's Laura? Um, She's not here. What are you doing there? Nothing much. I'm uh, out here in the waiting room. Why don't you come on in? 
Uh, I don't have to come in. Uh, this is okay. Yeah, I think I think that would be better if it came in. Can we talk on this for just a little while? I rushed over here. Yeah. And uh, I thought, I feel so much better. Now I'm at Dr. Katz's office and he'll help me out. Yeah. See, I think that's the problem. I don't think you feel safe in here at all. You wouldn't bring all this stuff. Really? In fact, I, I'm, I'm tempted to hang on to those things, Ron, until we're done with the session. How just let me just let me hold on to some of these things until uh, the end of the uh, session, and, uh, I'll, uh, and uh, I'll give them back to you, Ron. Um, Let's just be me and you and, uh, and whatever you're thinking, you know. Zoom. <laughs> it's kind of hard to think without the stuff, though. Blink, blink, blink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's not going that well, is it? Yep. Come on, that one too, Ron. Really? Whoops. You know what the music means. Our time is up. Wow. Thank you.